If you've lived in Tennessee all your life, it's easy to take things for granted, like the tall trees and green grass of the Tennessee countryside, beautiful lakes, country cooking, and the friendliest of people. Let me help you with that. Thank you. I appreciate it. And living in Nashville, there's always lots of fun things to do, like great music and pro football. While away at college, I missed all those things. And now that I'm back working with my dad as a personal injury lawyer, Nashville just seems like a great big small town. Everybody here knows my dad. Hey, Bart. How you doing? Hey, Kevin. And it looks like a lot of people are getting to know me. You play a girl. Yes, I am. I've met some of the bravest and most wonderful people in my work, and I'm honored that they've placed so much trust in me. And the moment I recognized what really gave my life meaning, I should have this. Thank you, Blair. I knew I could never, ever take it for granted. Call Attorney Mark Duro, 242-9000. Justice is your right, and we demand it. Ladies and gentlemen, you're seeing footage from the Four Corners of Hell match last Saturday night in Columbia, Tennessee at Freddy's Sportatorium, where one of the most heinous acts perpetrated in the history of professional wrestling was pulled off by Chris Danger and Damien of the Devil's Disciples. As you'll see, in each corner, there was a box with all kind of weapons, anything of mass destruction you could think of, they could use it in the ring. As you see, at this point in the match, box three has been opened, and Larry Valentine has taken it to him. Now, this is it. This is the fourth and final box in the four corners of hell as Larry Valentine opens it. Chris Danger now in the ring, and Valentine finally gonna get a little retribution on the manager as Damien slides in the back door and look, the most heinous thing I've ever witnessed in my life. It, it's unbelievable, it's almost too graphic to watch. In that sack, you will see as he's putting it over Larry Valentine's head. He shoves the bag over Valentine's head and he's holding it, Valentine is screaming. I don't know if you can hear it, but Valentine is screaming as Damien holds that bag over his head. And now as he takes the bag off, you will witness one of the most heinous things I've ever seen in my life. This is without a doubt beyond the realm of professional wrestling. It's Chris Danger with the glove, the protective glove to protect himself, reaches in that bag and pulls a live snake out. Ladies and gentlemen, it's true. The bag was over Valentine's head with the snake in it. It was unbelievable. The snake bit Larry Valentine. The match was stopped. As you can see now, they're rushing to get Valentine into a vehicle. They're taking him to the emergency room. And that's right, that is Desiree driving the vehicle. Larry Valentine's wife said, this is beyond professional wrestling. To hell with this, to hell with this business. That's my husband that's dying in this ring. And she loaded him up and they're out of there. Also, Larry Valentine's father came to the ring trying to check on his son and the devils attacked him and were about to put the snake on him, trying to make the snake bite his father. And as you see, everybody, good guys, bad guys, everybody came out there. It's just unbelievable. Welcome to NWA Main Event, fans. Lee Tidwell's on assignment with WAXO this morning, and uh, I have no idea where Sean Neal is, but as you saw at the head of the program last Saturday night in Columbia, that was the most unbelievable, despicable thing. And hey, I do some pretty underhanded things, but uh, give the devils their due. That's the most despicable thing i ever seen in my life. But since nobody's here but me, then guess what? NWA Main Event just became the Jeff the Crippler Daniels show. So without further, you're not supposed to be handing me stuff. Hey, wait a minute, I know where Sean's at, he's in the back. Hey, there's something going on in the back. Turn this portatron on and let's see what's happening back there. Turn this thing on. 
Hey, guys, last Saturday night in Columbia, you had the Four Corners of Hell match. You stepped over the line. What is this about? A snake. Snakes don't belong in wrestling. What are you doing with a snake? What snake? Oh, you mean this one here? The no! Hey, hey, we need to talk about what happened Saturday night in Columbia, guys, because that was not part of the deal. I paid you to keep Larry Valentine and John Caesar out of family business because they were not keeping up their part of the deal. That is my husband. That is the father of my children. This is Shut up! Listen to me, honey. When you make a deal with the devil, you get what you pay for. But guess what? Sometimes you get a whole hell of a lot more. <laughs> you you don't touch him. <laughs> Let me tell you something. We'll start this right now. We'll start with Larry Valentine and his old stinky ass man and his homeless kids and you bitch ass I'll tell you what, Larry Valentine, you, John Caesar, anybody else, by God, we can do it. And by God, we'll start today. We'll start today right here on TV. Tell you what, we'll put it out. John Caesar, you're a history boy. Oh, yeah. He's Guys, there. there's not going to be any match on TV today. After what you did in Columbia Saturday night, the NWA board of directors has suspended both of you indefinitely. Indefinitely. I'll tell you what, Mike Porter. Indefinitely. Boy, I've got a little present for you. Come here. <laughs> Come on. No, 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 no. No, no. We'll deal with it our way. The devil's way. Trust me. Trust me. Chris, Don't Gary worry about it. it. Don't worry about it. We'll deal with it our way in hell! Wow, that was unbelievable. Can you believe, can you believe that Desiree, yeah, I can believe it, you know why? Because she's one of the angels and they run the family. I knew she had enough intestinal fortitude, so to speak, to go tell Chris Danger and the Devils exactly what she thought. But then, unbelievable, I can't believe this. Mike Porter has laid down the suspension. The Devils are gone for good. This is unbelievable. What a morning we're having here. We got to take a break. We'll talk more about this when Sean gets back. Check our award-winning website, nwame.com, for all your updated wrestling information. On tonight's card at Freddy's Sportatorium and Auction House in Columbia, Tennessee, Chris Sanders and Jason Kane with Charming Charles in their corner take on the new Italians, Tommy Capone and Joey the Saint Luciano. The Southern Rebel Denny Ray and Torture King will take on Crid Thriller and John Caesar. For the NWA Mid-America Tag Team Belt, the Syndicate Crew, LA Player, and Gypsy Joe take on Booty Call. In a grudge match, the big, big man from Texas, Lone Star, with Miss Penelope in his corner, take on Hot Chocolate Corey Williams. For the NWA Mid-America TV title, Buzzed Up takes on Chris Gatlin. And in the main event, for the NWA Mid-America Heavyweight Belt, Mr. Mean Mike Woods defends his title against Jeff the Crippler Daniels with Dominique in his corner. That's tonight at Freddy's Sportatorium and Auction House in Columbia, Tennessee. Bell time, 8 p.m. Put a headlock on high prices. Come to Freddy's Auction every Friday night at 7.01 p.m. Come catch the fun and excitement of auction fever. Pay absolute rock bottom prices for fine furniture, cookware, decorating accents, tools, jewelry, collectibles, toys, and much, much more. Bring the family and tell a friend. For the largest variety at unbelievable prices, make your bid at Freddy's Auction each and every Friday night. Sold. Does your car not want to go? Well, don't worry, we can tow. Here at Brown's Automotive, we specialize in light, medium, and heavy towing. There's no car or truck too hard for us to handle. Our specially trained staff is on call 24 hours a day, and our quick response time makes us one of the best in Nashville. So when your car doesn't want to go, just give us a call, and we'll give you a tow. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to NWA Main Event Wrestling. Jeff the Crippler Daniels sitting beside me as uh, Lee Tidwell is off on a special assignment with Wax. Well, Jeff, it's great to have you here today. Oh, it's good to have you here, Sean. You left me stuck out to do the opening of this thing by myself, but hey, that was some pretty amazing stuff went on in the back. But this, we got a heck of a match going on in the ring right here, too. That's right. Tommy Capone taking on Jason Kane and Charles is in Jason's. Oh, beautiful kick there. Hey, Jeff, guess what? We got to do a little thing about our TV stations, like on WNAB, 
out of Nashville, WAXO out of Lewisburg. But guess what? We've got two new stations adding on to us. WYLE 26 out of Florence, Alabama, and TV 13 out of Lawrenceburg. We're getting bigger and bigger every, every week. Hey, that just means they get to see the Crippler two more times a week. And from what I understand, that's every Saturday right down there in Florence and Lewisburg, uh, Lawrenceburg Jeff, also. Jeff, look hey, what's what? going on. Jason's got the – oh, Jason. Looks like he tried to nail Tommy, but Tommy kind of backed away. I think he could be playing possum here. And Charles just a little – Celebrating just a little bit too early there. I'm not sure if he got a good shot on him with that cane. Tommy's still down. But it more looked more like a glance and blow as Kane's just choking him, taking the breath away from him. Well, this is a battle that's been, that's been brewing for the last couple weeks between these two. Hey, hey, hey. Well, you know, Charles getting in Capone's head trying to play those head games, and Capone just comes straight out and says, you know what, head games aside, you give me Kane in the ring, and we'll take care of this man to man. That's right. Well, Jason's just wasting too much time. He needs, you know, I've seen Tommy Brussel a lot. Oh. Well, Kane is slow and methodical. I tell you, he, he has a lot of the old school values. But with Tommy Capone, you can't let your guard down for one second. And, uh, and as you can see right there, everybody's guards up right now as Charmer Charles gets a shot in on him. Well, that's a good thing about having, having a manager in your corner, as you know, since you have the lovely Dominique. The manager is just important to the wrestler because the manager can take care of business while the wrestler takes care of the referee and vice versa. Well, you know, with Dominique out there with me, it's uh, <laughs> it's always definitely a two-on-one as Capone rolls him up. Ooh. Oh, Kane Jason barely got up out of that. Got a, ki got a kick out. And actually, it should be quite interesting tonight because, uh, well, this, uh, this battle is long from over because tonight at Freddy's, Jason's going to be teaming up with his uh, tag team partner now, Chris Sanders, as they take on the new Italians. Oh, beautiful kick. Tommy Capone and Joey the St. Luciano. There's a two, Oop. three. Oh, I thought he had it there. It. I thought he had Tommy laid out there for good. But it looks so. like Jason's going to come back on the offensive. Push him over. Ooh, nice well, shove into you, the Did turnbuckle. you hear the impact of that when he hit yeah. that turnbuckle? That's, that's got to really just uh, Stay put on shivers him, up Kane. his spine. Stay on him. Ooh, oh, hold miss, up, wait a minute. This clothesline number. Oh, Tommy beautiful, Gunn. Tommy. There it is. Oh, can we can see we that again? Can we see that again, please? Let's get a look. Oh, geez, right in the chin. Oh, looks like we got a kick out after two. Yeah, Mike Ooh. Jones is saying it was a kick. I yep, can't believe that Jason yep, Kane is kicked out of the Tommy gun. I haven't seen anybody kick out. I was never able to kick out of it. Let's see what's going to happen here. Capone's got him up. Will he kick him again? Oh, look like, yep, it's the Bulldog. Well, Could he I'm get it? Could you, he get it? I've been on the end of that one, too. You can count to 100. Capone did exactly what he said he was going to do. Uh, another win for the big one, Tommy Capone. We'll be right back after these messages. Are you looking for a fundraiser? Well, the best fundraiser in America is professional wrestling, and the king of wrestling fundraisers is NWA Main Event. Give us a call today at 837-1080. That's 837-1080. Fundraisers for you. Artists, are you tired of getting turned down by record companies? Well, here at Rock Solid Entertainment and Coleman Teleproductions, we can help you make your dreams a reality. Having your own personalized music video will show the world and the record companies who you really are. Bring your track or your guitar. Get your pen. Write this number down, 397-9100. At Rock Solid Entertainment, we help you make your dreams a reality. Do you suffer from pelvic pain, urinary frequency, incontinence, fibromyalgia, or pelvic floor dysfunction? I've lived with interstitial cystitis for 10 years. It's very painful, very frustrating. I felt very alone and very isolated. Fortunately, I was able to find an ICA support group here in Nashville, Tennessee. There is help and there is hope. The ICA support group meets once a month. Please contact us at 615-582-7335 today. Here we go, here we go, Jeff. It's Booty Call taking on Little Toe Joe and Bill McKenzie. Now, this is a non-title match. They're going to not put the belts on the line against these two, uh, well, new guys to our promotion. I think they ought to have to put the belts on the line. I think any time you get a chance to show your talents on TV, if you're a champion, you should put your belt on the line. If I was champion, I would put my belt on the line. Now, let me tell you, this Little Toe Joe, his hero, his idol growing up was Tojo Yamamoto and he has dedicated his career to following in Tojo's footsteps <laughs> and uh, 
Well, the, cr the crowd don't seem to like him too much. <laughs> Did you, if you heard him chant, they were calling him Toe Jam. Yeah, they were calling him Toe Jam instead of Toe Joe. But I tell you, take nothing from the guy. He's a good wrestler. Oh, yeah. But he's in there with the tag team champions, so we're going to see exactly what he can do. And this guy, Nasty Bill McKenzie, an yeah. old friend of mine, gave me a call and said, hey, look, this guy's going to be up your way. You need to take a look at him. Look at Booty Call. They are working like tag team champions today. But this Bill McKenzie is the nephew of the great Tex McKenzie. Well, this guy, I, I had him on, a, on the pre-show uh, a couple days or a couple weeks ago. And, the guy slobbers, man. He chews tobacco when he wrestles. Did you ever meet his uncle? Uh, no, I didn't. Well, let me tell you, that was a big, nasty Texan. You think Lone Star was big and nasty, you should have seen Tex McKenzie. Which well, is an interesting combination, considering that uh, uh, Bill's from uh, Waco, Texas, and with little Tojo, it's kind of like a, an east-west connection there. <laughs> Bonsai barbecue, that's what you get, boy. <laughs> I'm telling you right now, Brian Turner going to send him. Oh, there's a big reversal. Oh, and Ooh. Tojo got him with a knee right in the back, Man, belly to belly. Lower pelvic area. Hey, the champions could be in trouble here, Sean. There's a tag. This would be an upset if uh, if little Tojo and, uh, oh, the Bonsai splash. That's a Bonsai bomb. But you're not going to beat the tag champs without hooking the leg. I tell you, say what you will. These guys, everybody said they were a fluke. Everybody said they couldn't hold on to the tag team titles. But you know what? By hook or by crook, they're still champions. And um, Nice little duck through. Brian's, oh! Big drop kick by Tojo right in Brian Turner's face. Can't, can't duck out of those. Say what you want. They're still tag team champions. Yeah. Ooh, big forearm on the back of Brian's back. Speaking of big Texans, you let me and Lone Star get in there with him. We'll lift them belts right off of them. Oh, I, I agree. I've been trying to talk uh, promoter Mike Porter in that match for a long time. I don't know why he's, he's protecting Booty Call. But it was nice to see Brian bring out the actual tag team belt this week. I, I, guess, uh, <laughs> I guess Dan finally figured out the one without the colors is the tag team belt. Well, from what I understand, they've refused interview time this week. Brian Turner <laughs> said absolutely no interview from the tag team champions today. Oh, man. Well, work, working on Brian's arm there. Look at this. Well, the crowd's behind Booty Call, even though uh, East West Connection here has been uh, taking care of. Oh! There it is. There's that 180 bonsai drop. Oh, he picked him up. Big mistake. Big, Big mistake. mistake on little Tojo's part. You never, ever pull somebody up off that mat, especially when you got a chance to get a non-title victory over the champions. Those guys could have knocked themselves right out of a title shot tonight in Columbia. Yeah, I mean, it. if uh, Bill and Tojo, did, little Tojo, did get this win, they would take the place of Booty Call and have well, to take on the crew. For you got to be kidding me. The uh, big man's big going dude. up. I don't think Turnbuckle he's will going hold this up. weight. Oh, oh, we saw this last God, week. Brian Turner got out of the way because there wouldn't have been but one of the booty calls left after that one. There's a tag. It's an awesome move if he connects. But oh, uh-oh, Dan's rested up. He's coming in with a ball of fire. There we go. Here, This is when booty call takes over. This is when they win their titles. I'm telling you, look at him. They're trying to he's take a big the big boy to man push out, out right out over the top. That leaves little Tojo in there with him. Looks like LT's going down. Hey, look, 4-1-1. That's why they're tag team champions, Sean. If they hit you with it, Hang the you're going to get up. This match is over. Booty call. Looks like they got the crew coming up tonight. Check our award-winning website, nwame.com, for all your updated wrestling information. On tonight's card at Freddy's Sportatorium and Auction House in Columbia, Tennessee, Chris Sanders and Jason Kane, with Charming Charles in their corner, take on the new Italian, Tommy Capone and Joey the Saint Luciano. The Southern Rebel Denny Ray and Torture King will take on Kid Thriller and John Caesar. For the NWA Mid-America Tag Team Belt, the Syndicate Crew, LA Player, and Gypsy Joe take on Booty Call. In a grudge match, the big, big man from Texas, Lone Star, with Miss Penelope in his corner, take on Hot Chocolate Corey Williams. For the NWA Mid-America TV title, Buzz Dump takes on Chris Gatlin. And in the main event, for the NWA Mid-America Heavyweight Belt, Mr. Mean Mike Woods defends his title against Jeff the Crippler Daniels with Dominique in his corner. That's tonight at Freddy's Sportatorium and Auction House in Columbia, Tennessee. Bell time, 8 p.m.
has arrived in Tullahoma Lanes in Tullahoma. We set T-Town on fire with quarter night every Wednesday night. 25 cent bowling, drinks, popcorn, and even shoe rental. A couple of these are you need for a night of fun. And we're just getting started. On Thursdays, it's Club Cosmic, the premier entertainment complex in the Mid-South. The action begins at 9 p.m. Dancing, bowling, premium draft, Club Cosmic, taking your Thursdays to a new level. It's Tullahoma Lanes, just minutes from everywhere. Now, we all know we're supposed to drink responsibly. However, once you start, you don't always make the best choices. Bad things do happen to good people. If this happens to you or someone you know, call Chris Rowland at Rowland Bonding. Some of us would like to say we made a visit to jail for a little too much to drink. However, that's not always the case either. Whatever the situation, call Rowland Bonding at 895-3438, serving Murfreesboro and all of Rutherford County. Attention, Middle Tennessee. The rain has forced us to discount all remaining above-ground pools up to 60% off. Depot the Dolphin here from Pool and Spa Depot. A 24-foot above-ground pool for $11.99. The heat is on and this is the sale you've been waiting for. In-ground pools from $79.99. Jacuzzi spas and tons of patio punters. Up to 60% off at Pool and Spa Depot. Home of the low-price guarantee. Clipper, it's great to have you hanging out here with me again today. I, I know, I, I know it's such a great honor to have you here. Well, it's a pleasure to be here, Sean. But I tell you, it, it's amazing the things that's transpired on this television this morning. You know, I, I thought the family rocked the NWA's foundation. But I tell you, these devils are unbelievable. And Tommy Capone oh. and Jason Kane, was that not unbelievable? Unbelievable. And you saw Capone. Take out Jason with that uh, his special Tommy gun. The Tommy, Tommy gun. gun. I've yeah. been on the other end of that. It's not real fun, Sean. And how about Booty Call? Booty Call with a big win, hanging on to their t their. Uh, well, actually, it was a non-title match yeah, against Booty Tojo. Call. Booty Call. They got him a big win today. But you just remember, you step in the ring with the family. <laughs> Those belts will be over here, boys. Don't forget, keep ducking. <laughs> but coming up, the action hasn't stopped. You're going to have to leave me for in a little bit because you've got a match against the Southern Rebel, Danny yeah, Ray, which I know right. you'll just Almost pound him down. To work. Oh, it's going to be sweet. Also, a special title match for you. NWA Mid-America heavyweight champion, me, Mike Woods, defends his belt against the Emperor, John Caesar. But first, we've got a very special clip. For the first time, Larry Valentine speaks out with his family about the heinous act the devils perpetrate on him. I don't want to listen to this one myself. This should be good. Just, just watch the monitor here, Jeff. You know everybody's making such a big deal about this snake bite. To me, I can deal with this snake bite. Every time the music plays, every time John and I walk through that curtain, we know there's a chance we may not walk back through that curtain. Most of you people don't realize, but in pro wrestling, you can die. And that's a chance we take because we love it. We live it. You see, I can deal with that. I can deal with hell in the cell matches. I can deal with four corner matches. I can deal with the scars on my head. But what I can't deal with is while I was laying there choking in my own saliva, I look around and I see my father, a 55 year old man, getting beat up by Damien and then having a snake shoved in his face by danger. See guys, that's going far beyond wrestling. That is breaking the code, the unwritten code. You see, these girls shouldn't have to be standing here beside me. My wife, she shouldn't have to be here behind me. It should be about us. It should be about the heartbreakers versus the devils. You don't drag people's personal business into this. And you see something else I really don't understand? Mike Porter, you may have thought you did us a favor by suspending them, but that's not a favor to us. That's taken away from us. We're not getting our chance for revenge. You see, because this is not only my partner, he's not only my friend, this is my brother. We are brothers from different mothers. And when people screw with this family, they screw with his family. We are tight like that. So what we're saying, Mike Porter, we've discussed this. If you do not, if you do not have the devils in the ring, two weeks, Mike Porter, John Caesar and I, 
we quit the NWA main event. We're taking our bags and we're following you devils. We're following you danger. Wherever you go, we'll be there. Piggly Wiggly, Walmart, any promotion you go to, we'll be there. This is gonna come to an end, but you, Mike Porter, might wanna get it to come to an end in main event. Unbelievable, Jeff, what uh, we just saw from Larry Valentine from his house. I tell you what, he almost got me, he's almost got me feeling sorry for him, you know what I mean? But uh, enough about Larry Valentine and all his ups and downs and woes and cries and moans and belly aching. It's Mid-America heavyweight title time, and that's what my eyes are set on, and my eyes are set on the man in the purple right there, Caesar Jackson's jaw. That's right. It's me, Mr. Mean Mike Woods, taking on John Caesar for the NWA Mid-America heavyweight title. And you gotta, I gotta tell you, Jeff, I know you're watching Mike Woods, but this is a title match. You need to be watching John Caesar. Don't count John out. Well, I'm telling you, Sean, if John Caesar pulls this off, and what a beautiful snap suplex that was. If Caesar pulls this off and becomes Mid-America champion, that means I meet Caesar tonight. And I'm going to tell you right now, if I meet John Caesar tonight, I will be Mid-America champion. Because as a former family member with me, I know him like a book. And nobody, nobody can pull the dirty trick like I can. Caesar's got soft. He's learned to let them people cheer for him and love the adoration of the fans. Well, you know what, Caesar? It only makes you weak as the champion showing him right now, Sean. You know, I was just, you were just mentioning something I was thinking about. I mean, just think, just a few months ago, John Caesar, mean Mike Woods, Larry Valentine, and yourself were the family. No, Woods was never a family member when I was there because the reason I came to the family because Woods was a weak link. Ooh, There's a almost. two count, a kick out. Woods was the weak link, and they kicked him out, and I came into the family. That's where I came in. It was the big Texan Lone Star and me, then those two turncoats, the heartbreakers. Well, it looks like uh, Mike's got the upper hand on uh, John Caesar right now. Oh, that had to hurt the hand. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's starting to find out that John Caesar does have the hardest head here at main event. But it looks like those potato skins are starting to wear John Caesar out. Ooh. He's painting his uh, initials on Caesar's chest right now. I'll tell you, that's a big, nasty man, oh. Mike Woods. John's and coming back. You, it's going to be no cakewalk tonight. Caesar's taking it to him. Go ahead, Caesar. Soften him up. It doesn't matter which one of you walk out of this Mid America champion. Oh! Yeah, but you got yeah, you gotta remember. Yeah, that's why Mike carries the title. Not only is he big and mean, he some he does pull out some smart ideas and smart moves. Well, it, you have to be a ring technician. Not only do you have to be Ooh. big, bad, nasty, and tough, but you got to be a thinking man in the ring at all the time, Sean. And Mike Woods is that. Mike Woods has had a very successful run as Mid-America champion. But I guarantee you, I guarantee you, it's running short. His time's almost up. I tell you, he, every week he's out here defending that belt, defending on TV, defending it in the house shows. It's going to take its toll. That arm, I started on it last week, and I know for a fact that Mike Woods is sucking it up and playing tough, but that arm is not 100%. And Caesar making a comeback on him now. Caesar up and over. Got him down. One, two, oh, kick out. Referee Mike Jones calls it a two count. I tell you what, he barely got that shoulder up. Caesar almost had him right there. Yeah, it looks it. Oh, the. It, I was about to say, it looks like it's almost over. Bells will be ringing. Boy, after that <laughs> leg drop, I don't think there's much left. Could he be setting him up for it? Oh. And we, well, oh, Caesar Johnson. with a big form of his own. They're going to trade back and forth. But I tell you, Caesar's a big, tough individual, too. Everybody talks about how big Mike Woods is. There's probably not 20, 30 pounds difference in between these guys. They're both monsters. Ooh, Mike going for his big finish, but not enough. Oh. He got him with an insiguri right in the side of the head. Could this be it? Could Caesar have him where he wants him? He's to the outside, We're Sean. We're heading to Wall Street. Here we go. Stock market crash right here. If he hits this, we... Oh! Woods was smart enough to oh. get out of the way. Caesar paid the price. And the you can big hear man's someone back on the, his feet. You hear somebody in the crowd laughing. He knew what was going on. Oh! There it There's is. There's the clothesline. That's a three count. That's it. It looks like it's going to be you against Mr. Mean Mike Woods. Any last comments you got for Mike? Shine it up, Woods, tonight in Columbia. 
it'll be the last time you walk the aisle. Well, Jeff, it's been great. I know you've got to go do your match now. Check our award-winning website, nwame.com, for all your updated wrestling information. On tonight's card at Freddy's Sportatorium and Auction House in Columbia, Tennessee, Chris Sanders and Jason Kane with Charming Charles in their corner take on the new Italians, Tommy Capone and Joey the Saint Luciano. The Southern Rebel, Denny Ray and Torture King will take on Kid Thriller and John Caesar. For the NWA Mid-America Tag Team Belt, the Syndicate Crew, LA Player, and Gypsy Joe take on Booty Call. In a grudge match, the big, big man from Texas, Lone Star, with Miss Penelope in his corner, take on Hot Chocolate, Corey Williams. For the NWA Mid-America TV title, Buzzed Up takes on Chris Gatlin. And in the main event, for the NWA Mid-America Heavyweight Belt, Mr. Mean Mike Woods defends his title against Jeff the Crippler Daniels with Dominique in his corner. That's tonight at Freddy's Sportatorium and Auction House in Columbia, Tennessee. Bell time, 8 p.m. Here's a 1999 Ford Explorer for $85.95. It's four-wheel drive, and we do finance. When buying a vehicle, how can you make sure you're making the best decision? Well, it's easy when you come to Pegram's Auto Sales, the new car alternative. Our selection of like new cars, trucks, vans, and SUVs are truly the best. All the best-selling vehicles side-by-side. Side. It's hassle-free shopping only from your new car alternative, Pegram Auto Sales. Buy with confidence at Pegram's Auto Sales. Hi, I'm Al Applegate and Sewing Machines and Things in Franklin, Tennessee. And this is the Powerhouse by Mila. The lightest and most powerful upright on the market today. Wooden vinyl are easy and quick to clean. Just flip the switch. The bag is easy to change and it's biodegradable. Just look at the stretch hose. Most vacuums are damaged by coins and screws. Not the Mila. Come test drive the Powerhouse by Mila. Sale price at $289 or get our zero interest financing. That's sewing machines and things for life. Do you suffer from pelvic pain, urinary frequency, incontinence, fibromyalgia, or pelvic floor dysfunction? I've lived with interstitial cystitis for 10 years. It's very painful, very frustrating. I felt very alone and very isolated. Fortunately, I was able to find an ICA support group here in Nashville, Tennessee. There is help and there is hope. The ICA support group meets once a month. Please contact us at 615-582-7335 today. Jeff Daniels, tonight in Columbia, I get my payback from last week on TV. We're in a non-title match. You snuck around like the snake you are, and you got the belt, and you hit me in the head. Well, you might have got lucky then, but luck is about to run out because I've heard it once. I've heard it a thousand times. I'd rather go to my own mama's funeral than my own. Well, you step in the ring with the man with the eyes without the face. Jeff Daniels, I think I can arrange that fact. And welcome back, NWA Main Event for Wrestling Fans. This is Sean. As you can see, Jeff's not with me now. He's in the ring. Harry, Harry, come here. Come here. Come here. Sit down. What? Harry, sit down. Have a seat. Everyone, I want to introduce my personal assistant, Harry Balzac. And uh, Harry, you're the one who's been feeding me all this great information about old-time wrestling. I figured it's your time to sit in here and help us out since Lee's not here today. You're really going to give me my time? Of course, Harry. I told you. Eventually, I would get you on the mic. Here you go. Here's your chance. Okay, Start then just sit the there and be quiet. Now, this is Jeff Daniels. Look at this. See there? He grabbed he grabbed his tights and he cheated. Now, well, what is this? That's some kind of drop kick. And there was an arm drag. And now Dominique is up on the apron here. Let's see. See? She is so beautiful, the ref can't even just, you know, he just is amazed by her beauty. Well, you're absolutely right, Harry. She always just gets gets my eye watching, but make sure Jeff doesn't see you doing that. He will get quite mad. Now you see Jeff whipping Denny Ray out of the out of the corner. Denny reverses. Ooh, but Denny wasn't ready for Jeff's big elbow. It's a big elbow from the crippler, Jeff Ooh, Daniels. Nice little leg a, drop by Jeff. Great leg drop. And there's another one. Just like I know the crippler Jeff Daniels will win this match. Because I got faith in him. Now watch here. There it is. See Ooh. there? It's a beautiful punch right to the face. That's sweet. This is Jeff's warm-up match because tonight at Freddy's in Columbia, he'll be taking on Mr. Mean Mike Woods, someone you saw a little bit earlier for Mike's NWA Mid-America heavyweight title. Look at him just hanging him over the ropes there. Denny's, Denny's in way over his head today. Way over his head. Now look, here is the beautiful Dominique. Look at her. She's trying to get him off the ropes, and he's just sitting there because he's, he, you know, he just, he's an idiot. Now look at here. See, Jeff Daniels, he's just... He, he's the greatest wrestler I know. And after tonight, I promise you, he will 
be the NWA champion. Ooh, Jeff's got Denny in the corner there, just punching him out. Looks like he's gonna whip him. Whoa! Oh, oh another elbow. Big, big elbow. This looks like this is it. Get, no, oh. Jeff is just playing with him. He's just setting him up and he's playing with him. Oh, there he is, choking him out. Choking him, got it. He's squeezing that chin, just giving. He's got him in a great chin lock. It's just technical, it's beautiful. Just look at him. You know, Jeff Daniels you know is just the greatest wrestler ever that I've ever seen. Could I think Denny's, I don't know if Denny's gonna be able to hold on much longer yeah, on this he's, one. He's ready to oh, go he, out, he's ready. And, and look, Jeff, Jeff is setting him up. No, Jeff is just setting him up. He's just setting him up. He's making him think he's got something here. See, what did I tell you? A big knee to the uh, gut. <laughs> Jeff the Crippler Daniels is just the greatest wrestler yeah. ever. Look at this smile. Jeff's having fun with Denny Ray. He's uh. just playing with him. It's just a warm-up match for tonight. It's a big body slam. Now let's see, what is Jeff going to do here? Uh, he's going up to the rope. Big, big. huge elbow drop. Now see Jeff, the, Jeff has got to have one of the best elbows going in the business right now. Jeff is the best technical wrestler in the business. Ooh. Matter of fact, he's the best wrestler in the business today. Denny, Denny's just pulling, look at this, Denny's pulling it, pulling the last ditch effort. He just, look at it, this may be an upset. No, Jeff is just setting him up. She's just setting him up. Watch this, watch Jeff. Big Russian leg sweep. Look at there. He just rolled right over on top of him. Now he's picking him up. Well, Look at here. It is the, it's the Dominator. It's the this, Dominator. The this most is Dominique's favorite move. Awesome move. Jeff must have did that for her. Today. Look at this. Look at her. She's just all pleased. She's telling the ref, get back. Let my man do his business here. And once again, the crippler, Jeff Daniels, is the winner. And I can promise you tonight, he will be the next champion. There you go, folks. Hang on, we got even more exciting rushing action coming up, coming up for you. Are you looking for a fundraiser? Well, the best fundraiser in America is professional wrestling, and the king of wrestling fundraisers is NWA Main Event. Give us a call today at 837-1080. That's 837-1080. Fundraisers for you. Put a headlock on high prices. Come to Freddy's Auction every Friday night at 7.01 p.m. Come catch the fun and excitement of auction fever. Pay absolute rock bottom prices for fine furniture, cookware, decorating accents, tools, jewelry, collectibles, toys, and much, much more. Bring the family and tell a friend. For the largest variety at unbelievable prices, make your bid at Freddy's Auction each and every Friday night. Sold. Quarter Mania has arrived at Tullahoma Lanes in Tullahoma. We set T-Town on fire with Quarter Night every Wednesday night. 25 cent bowling, drinks, popcorn, and even shoe rental. A couple of these are you need for a night of fun. And we're just getting started. On Thursdays, it's Club Cosmic, the premier entertainment complex in the Mid-South. The action begins at 9 p.m. Dancing, bowling, premium draft, Club Cosmic, taking your Thursdays to a new level. It's Tullahoma Lanes just minutes from everywhere. Mike Woods, you stand out here and you run your mouth about things you don't know about. I've been here in the NWA for a long time, Woods. You've been here for just a few short months. Yes, you are a very successful man. Yes, you are Mid-America champion. But Mike Woods, what you will deal with tonight at Freddy's Auction House is Jeff the Crippler Daniels, 230 pounds of the meanest son of a bitch you're ever going to step in the ring with and when the dust settles and the smoke clears I will be Mid-America Champion That's right folks as you know Lee Tidwell is on special assignment with Waxo. We had Jeff Daniels here but he had to go do his match so now it's me. Sean TV all Sean all the time. I'll do whatever I want. And you know what I want to do? Let's talk about what we've just seen my old co-host, Jeff the Crippler Daniels, he defeated the Southern Rebel, Denny Ray. Hey, Denny, the Union won that battle. And Jeff, tonight at Freddy's, takes on Mean Mike Woods, who we just saw defeat John, the, John, the Emperor Caesar. Unbelievable match. They tore the house down. Speaking of tearing the house down, don't change the channel. Because coming up is going to be for the NWA Mid-America TV title, Chris Gatlin defends his title against the big man from Texas. Woo! Lone Star, baby! That's right. That's going to be on the show. And Sean TV. What would Sean TV be without the syndicate crew? 
my good buddies from the West Coast. And you can't have the syndicate crew on TV without the godfather, Gypsy Joe, as he takes on Citizen Kane. Oh, Citizen Kane, what are you doing? Why did you sign on the dotted line? But first, let's start off with the main boys. L.A. player and buzzed up as they take on Kid Thriller and Hot Chocolate, Corey Williams. Let's go to the ring. You're going to love this one. And we're back. Here we go. It's Hot Chocolate, Corey Williams and Kid Thriller taking on my West Coast buddies, L.A. player and buzzed up the syndicate crew. By the way, Sean, here's your uh, coffee that I got for you. Hey, thanks, thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. I'm glad you're back here. And you did that whole desk segment without me? Well, yeah, because you were getting my coffee. But right. don't, don't worry, Harry. You're on the show now. You're going to be with me the rest of the show. Jeff's gone. Lee's gone. It's just you and me, buddy. The rest of the show. The rest of the show. Great. No problem, man. All right. Let's see what we got here. Ooh. Nice takedown. Nice one. Now, now, Thriller and, uh, and Corey, they weren't used to work together. And it uh, looks like they're back together, and they haven't lost a step here. What's he doing? Uh, Corey is, you know, Corey's such a great veteran that if she's, you know, I think the syndicate crew is going to have a little bit of a problem. Yeah, but, you know. You're I'll, talking about the West Coast players, baby. Yeah, that's true. And the one Look. thing you're missing, you'll see not there at ringside is YT. YT's out actually scouting for more members of the crew. But I think we got the uh, LA player up. Oh. Great, great arm drag by Thriller. Hey, he pulled his hair, exactly. I saw that too. Come on, Mike. Come on, Mike. Why did... That's right. He pulled. He, you pulled his hair. Yes, you did. You did, Thriller. Don't, don't deny well, it. Oh yeah, he could have pulled his hair. I think he, he might have. I wasn't sure, but it kind of looked like he did. But it was still, you know, it was still a good arm drag, even, you know. Oh, come on, come on. Oh, uh, here we here go. Comes, Hot chocolate's coming in. That's Corey Williams. He's going up to the second rope. Wait a minute. Oh. oh. Ooh, Buzz man. trying to come Buzz in, trying, trying to protect to his, his buddy, but oop. What is this? What is this? What's this? It's Lone Star. What's he Lone doing? Lone Star. What is Lone Star doing out here? He's beating hot He's chocolate. Beating He's him. beating him. Look at this. Down. Look at him. He's oh my kicking God. him. He's, my I gosh. Have, I have never seen Corey taken like this. There's Desiree. There's Penelope. And, and, and look, look what, they're look holding at, Thriller look. down to make him watch. They're making him watch because Thriller said that was my best friend I and I will we, watch his back. I think the crew made, I think the crew is helping out Lone Star here. Look at it. Oh, Look, just slapping it around. Just taunting. slapping it around. This looks like it's curtains they're for Corey today. Choking Corey. You know, I haven't seen Corey in this kind of shape in a long time. And they're taunting Thriller. Watch, they're holding him back. There's nothing. Look, look at the angels applauding him. What's he saying? Something about Corey called uh, Penelope a name? He's oh, calling her a name that, or something. And, and that's Lone Star smart. is just practically that's snapped not, here. Yeah, that's not smart at all. No, it's not. And, and watch them. They they still got Thriller over there, and they're making him watch. Look, they're making him watch. Oh, Lone Star setting him up. Oh. Big splash into the corner, and look at Corey. He's just down. I think Corey's out. I, I thought it looked like the guts were coming out of Corey's mouth with that uh -oh. crush. Uh-oh, looks oh, like he's, he's gonna... fixing it. Oh, no, he's fixing to hit him with a big splash on Thriller. Oh, my God. That's, that's what that's happens it. when Thriller's you mess dead. with the big man from Texas. Thriller is, I have never in many, many, I've never seen Corey Williams in this kind of shape. And look, they're just, they're, they're just smacking him around and they're telling him, don't mess with Lone Star and Penelope. Look at this. There's Gypsy, there's the godfather, Gypsy Joe. This, this is unbelievable. I don't even, I wonder and, if Thriller and, and Williams will be able to make Freddie's, Freddy's tonight for the shows. I don't know. Look at this. There's Look a, at Thriller. He's he, he can't even get to his best friend. He's I, trying to get to his best friend and he can't do it. He's looking up, trying to figure out what's going on here. And Lone Star's just taunting him in the ring. There's another big kick in the back of the head to Corey. And the scariest thing, Lone Star has not left the ring. He's not done. He is not. Oh, now he's picking him up. What's he going to oh, do no, with him? Not another one. If he gives him another splash in the corner, I'm telling you. Corey may not ever wrestle again here. Oh, oh my no. gosh. Oh, we definitely need the medics. Corey's ribs may be broke. I'm telling you, they may now, be broke. And look Buzz, at this. Buzz is choking him. Buzz is choking Thriller out. This is just massive carnage here. Look, Mike Jones, he, he's he, trying to stop it, but there's no way. And this Lone Star, look, he's like a wild animal. He, they must have really said something to set him off like this. I have never, look at this. Look. Don't he just, put your nose in his business. Don't, yep. 
I learned that a long time ago, a long time ago. Check our award-winning website, nwame.com, for all your updated wrestling information. On tonight's card at Freddy's Sportatorium and Auction House in Columbia, Tennessee, Chris Sanders and Jason Kane, with Charming Charles in their corner, take on the new Italians, Tommy Capone and Joey the Saint Luciano. The Southern Rebel, Denny Ray, and Torture King will take on Kid Thriller and John Caesar. For the NWA Mid-America Tag Team Belt, the Syndicate Crew, LA Player, and Gypsy Joe take on Booty Call. In a grudge match, the big, big man from Texas, Lone Star, with Miss Penelope in his corner, take on Hot Chocolate, Corey Williams. For the NWA Mid-America TV title, Buzzed Up takes on Chris Gatlin. And in the main event, for the NWA Mid-America Heavyweight Belt, Mr. Mean Mike Woods defends his title against Jeff the Crippler Daniels with Dominique in his corner. That's tonight at Freddy's Sportatorium and Auction House in Columbia, Tennessee. Bell time, 8 p.m. Now, we all know we're supposed to drink responsibly. However, once you start, you don't always make the best choices. Bad things do happen to good people. If this happens to you or someone you know, call Chris Rowland at Rowland Bonding. Some of us would like to say we made a visit to jail for a little too much to drink. However, that's not always the case either. Whatever the situation, call Roland Bonding at 895-3438, serving Murfreesboro and all of Rutherford County. You know, week one has just been completed of the Thrillers return back to NWA main event, and it's hot and heavy already. And I just want to say as far as tonight at Freddy's auction, Lone Star, you bring that bull rope and you bring that doorknob that everybody's had a turn on, Penelope, and I'm going to be right out front watching Corey Williams back. Because just like I said last week, that's one of the main reasons why I'm here. And for the second reason why I'm here, me and John Caesar, tonight at Freddy's, we got Denny Ray and the Torture King and a Knocking Heads tour are going to continue. Tell them, John. We're going to go out there, and boys, we know you're innocent. You haven't done anything to us, but that doesn't matter. We're going to start tonight, and we're going to bring the violence. Lone Star, what you pull today on TV is not going unanswered. Plain and simple, short and sweet. You bring that little nasty hoe with you, and I'm beating you down at Freddy's tonight. Corey Williams. You have really stepped in at this time. You want to come make advances in Miss Penelope? You want to call her all kinds of names? You want to take my rope and hit me in the head with it? Cost me my match? Your time's coming, brother. It's coming, and I'm going to take you down. Tonight in Columbia, me and you. And we're back into the ring, and it's the Godfather, Gypsy Joe. The great Godfather, Gypsy Joe. Hey, what are you doing with that microphone? Hey, give me that. What are hey. you doing? Get away from his desk. Harry, get, get out of get out of Jeff Jeff's seat. Come on. You know that. What are you doing? Go go get us some coffee, okay? Sean, what I, was he what was he doing with a microphone? I'm sorry, Jeff. He went to go get me coffee. He sat down next to me. I, I told him he can't be on the mic, but all of a sudden he took over and I, I'm too busy doing the show to understand that. But Jeff, thank God you're back. The, the guy doesn't know what he's talking about. Can you help me out here? We got the Godfather. And the he's Godfather. taking on citizens. Look at him. He's handling it. Who is this kid? Who is this young kid Citizen right here? Citizen Kane. Citizen Kane. He's going to be a dead soldier is what he's going to be in there with Gypsy Joe. I'll tell you, the Godfather is on a rip. He's on a tear. Since he come back from Hawaii, all he wants to do is maim people. Look at that. Uh, I, and I feel so sorry. I can't understand why this guy signed on the dotted line to go up against Joe. Hey, if you want to make a name for yourself, you got to come to the NWA main event. And what better way to try to work your way in than to take on the hardcore legend, the dancing fool, the godfather. But, but you know what, what's interesting about Citizen Kane here? He doesn't stay down. He just gets back up. Well, he's young and he's resilient. But I tell you, Joe's fixing to wake him up right now. To oh, end. No. He's going to say, welcome to the NWA, kid. You want a job? You want to be a wrestler? Oh. oh. Oh, I wouldn't even I wouldn't even wish those chops on my ex-wife, Jeff. Oh, Joe popped him right in the eye. Can you believe that? I think Joe hit him so hard, I don't think the kid knows where he's at. What, what's Joe? What's, <laughs> hey, wait a minute. Wait it's a minute. An old oh. He got the brass No, he nuts did out. not. Yep, yep. And of course, referee was not in position to see that. What's he gonna do? I guarantee you, I can tell by the way he's looking, is it? Look at him, yes. he's twisting his head. Oh. That's the hardest head in professional wrestling. You say what you want to about John Caesar. There's a three count, your winner, the Godfather. 
Come on, player. Get in there. Give us all a thrill. Let's see him dance. I want to see the Godfather dance, Sean. I do, too. We, we don't need the medics for uh, Citizen Kane. We just need the mortician. Who cares about Citizen Kane? I want to see the Godfather there dance. He, is. he feels good. In all his glory, the Godfather, Mink Coat. Well, there you go, folks. Don't oh, go away. There he, is, Sean. Here he goes. He's, He's going to dance. dance. Us. Oh, hit that move. Hit that move. Look at him. The Godfather. Don't change your channel, folks. Coming up next, the NWA Mid America TV title. The big man from Texas, Lone Star, taking on Chris Gatlin. We'll be right, at, right back after these messages. He's got more moves than a box of Epsom salt. Are you looking for a fundraiser? Well, the best fundraiser in America is professional wrestling, and the king of wrestling fundraisers is NWA Main Event. Give us a call today at 837-1080. That's 837-1080. Fundraisers for you. Hi, I'm Al Applegate in Sewing Machines and Things in Franklin, Tennessee, and this is the Powerhouse by Mila. The lightest and most powerful upright on the market today. Wooden vinyl are easy and quick to clean. Just flip the switch. The bag is easy to change, and it's biodegradable. Just look at the stretch hose. Most vacuums are damaged by coins and screws, not the Mila. Come test drive the Powerhouse by Mila. Sale price at $289 or get our zero interest financing. That's sewing machines and things for life. Well, guess what, Buzz? Just got off the phone with Brother YT. You know what you have tonight? TV title match. Chris Gatlin, that means one thing. You pull one out of your ass two weeks ago on TV. It won't happen tonight in Columbia. The title belt's coming to the crew. And Joe, he didn't forget about us. I know he's- Wait a minute, Godfather. Godfather, I'm so sorry. I know that we've made you happy in the past, but now, tonight, you and the player get a tag team title match. Really? Does that make you even happier? That makes me feel wonderful. Buzzed up. You want a second chance at the TV title? I done put your way on the TV once. Now I'm gonna have to do it to the people in Columbia face to face. So tonight in Columbia, step in the ring with the TV champ, and when I come off that rope and put you through the ring again, I'm gonna do it one, two, three, all in the middle of Columbia. This is the one I've been waiting for, Sean. My partner, the big Texan Lone Star, fixing to win the TV title right here today. And don't forget the lovely one of the angels, Miss Penelope at ringside, Jeff. What about them new TV stations, Sean? Oh, yes, we want to thank everybody who's viewing us now for the first time on WYLE 26 out of Florence, Alabama, and our good friends down in Lawrenceburg, Tennessee on TV 13. Welcome to NWA Main Event Wrestling Action. This is the stuff you're going to see each and every week on our television show. Look at Valentine going for that leg. Hey, look. Holy cow, what an insecurity. Jeez, I can't believe the big man getting up. Can we take a look at that again? Of course. That was unbelievable. Of course, Jeff. Look at him. Oh, he kicked him right in the side of the head. He could he could have took Gatlin out. And we're back to live action, Jeff. Look at this. Oh, oh no, look at it. He took the big Gat man down. Gatlin going for a big cross body. Wait, he's setting, he's him, setting him up. Him he's going to try to get that super kick in. This can't, this, this isn't good. He caught the big man right upside the head. Oh, oh. and now he caught his foot. Oh. Whoa. He took Gatlin out of his shoes. Gatlin shaking off that insiguri. Trying to mount a comeback, but Lone Star took him down. Now, Lone Star, baby. Now, as, as much as the big man's doing, oh, you got to remember, Chris is a retaining TV title holder. I can't believe he got his shoulder up on that one. Gives it. Chris is a big competitor, good competitor. Look, at he's getting set up here for something. Oh, blocks it with a foot. He's got, he's got Come your on, big man. Come on, big man. Come on, big man. Oh. Gallon with a tornado DDT, both men down. Come on, Lone Star, get up. Boy, these get guys, up, Lone Star. Kick. These guys have beaten the tar out of each other this morning, Jeff. Boy, I tell you, what an hour we've had. Lone Star getting that shoulder up. Come on, big man. We need that TV title in the family. You get it, and I'm going to get that Mid-America belt tonight. Gatlin firing up on him. Good to say, there you go. Oh, yes. Oh. TV title is within grasp now. Cover him, Lone Star. Over the head, belly to belly, the move that actually the WWE just banned in their promotions. You know about that, Jeff? Uh, I don't care about W. Hey, what's Corey Williams doing out here? Corey's trying to get to the ring. No, Jeff, no, Jeff, stay here. Stay here. I need you. Don't get up and help him. 
I don't think Corey wants no more of the big man. Oh, he's got there the rope go. out. Knock him out, Lone Star. Knock him out, baby. And Thrillers is doing the Corey. smart thing. Keep Corey out of there. Get he's him out of there, Thriller. You want enough of him left for tonight for me. <laughs> oh, no. Oh. No, missile drop kick off the top. Come on, no. Kick out, Lone Star. Oh. Looks I like, can't believe it. Looks like Chris Gatlin held on to the title, so it'll be him tonight. He's taking on the one and only buzzed up for the TV title. Looks I, like Lone I Star. can't believe that damn Corey Williams cost us a TV title. Oh, this is unbelievable. We were going to sweep today. Oh, well, there's the TV. There's your TV champion. Check our award-winning website, nwame.com, for all your updated wrestling information. On tonight's card at Freddy's Sportatorium and Auction House in Columbia, Tennessee, Chris Sanders and Jason Kane, with Charming Charles in their corner, take on the new Italian, Tommy Capone and Joey the Saint Luciano. The Southern Rebel, Denny Ray, and Torture King will take on Kid Thriller and John Caesar. For the NWA Mid-America Tag Team Belt, the Syndicate Crew, LA Player, and Gypsy Joe take on Booty Call. In a grudge match, the big, big man from Texas, Lone Star, with Miss Penelope in his corner, take on Hot Chocolate, Corey Williams. For the NWA Mid-America TV title, Buzzed Up takes on Chris Gatlin. And in the main event, for the NWA Mid-America Heavyweight Belt, Mr. Mean Mike Woods defends his title against Jeff the Crippler Daniels with Dominique in his corner. That's tonight at Freddy's Sportatorium and Auction House in Columbia, Tennessee. Bell time, 8 p.m. Great to have you back here, Crippler. I, I don't know where you were last segment, but I felt alone without you. Well, I was just cooling down and putting my clothes back on. After Looking I sharp as ever. Benny Ray. How about the show we had today? The suspension, the devil's disciples, out, gone, unbelievable. <laughs> you know what the best thing about that whole situation was? What? Desiree slapped a taste right out of his mouth. Oh, that's my girl. Yeah, that's my <laughs> baby. Hey, you're good friends with Lone Star. You're probably talking. What's going on with him and Corey? I seem, I seem to be missing something. It here. all started last Saturday night, and the big man was upset over some remarks that were made about the lovely and talented Miss Penelope. And uh, Corey's going to pay the price for it tonight. Oh, man. And you just saw Corey and Kid Thriller going up against my buddies, the West Coast players, L. Seneca crew, let's talk about tonight at Freddy's. Of course, the main event. The main event at Freddy's for the NWA Mid-America Heavyweight Child title. <laughs> mean Mike Woods is going to lose it Mid to this America man. Mid-America Heavyweight title. Tonight it's mine. I'm making a prediction. That's all I need to say about that one. What about TV title oh, the tonight? TV. You saw it on TV a few weeks ago. Now see it live for the NWA Mid-America TV title. Buzzed up. Gets another chance at Chris Gatlin's belt. And then Lone Star, baby, he's going to bring it to you, Corey. Tonight in Columbia, you're going to pay. Oh, the NWA Mid-America Tag Team belts are on the line tonight. The Syndicate crew are going to are gonna take them away from those guys. Booty call. Hey, Torture King, Diddy Ray, Kid Thriller, John Caesar, everybody. Sanders, Capone, everybody's in Columbia tonight. Jeff, <laughs> it's been great having you here today. We've got to get out of here anytime. I'm going to see Lee's out. You're going to be in all the time. Folks, you can't miss it. Be at Freddy's tonight in Columbia. This is a show we're going to tear the house down. We'll see you. Come Enjoy on, the boys. week. Are you looking for a fundraiser? Well, the best fundraiser in America is professional wrestling, and the king of wrestling fundraisers is NWA Main Event. Give us a call today at 837-1080. That's 837-1080. Fundraisers for you. King of Queens. Things for granted. Like the tall trees and green grass of the Tennessee countryside. Beautiful lakes, country cooking, and the friendliest of people. Let me help you with that. Thank you. I appreciate it. And living in Nashville, there's always lots of fun things to do, like great music and pro football. While away at college, I missed all those things. And now that I'm back working with my dad as a personal injury lawyer, Nashville just seems like a great big small town. Everybody here knows my dad. Hey, Bart. How you doing? Hey, Kevin. And it looks like a lot of people are getting to know me. You play a girl. Yes, I am. What you I've met some of the bravest and most wonderful people in my work, and I'm honored that they've placed so much trust in me. And the moment I recognized what really gave my life meaning... You should have this. Thank you, boy. I knew I could never, ever take it for granted. Call Attorney Mark Durham, 242-9000. Justice is your right, and we demand it.
Ladies and gentlemen, welcome into NWA main event. I thought you were fired. That's what the internet said. What are you doing here? Contrary to the rumors going around the internet, I wasn't fired. I was on special assignment this last week. Oh, really? And I can't tell you about it, but let's just put it this way. Me, Memphis TV. You figured it out. You were on Memphis TV. No, I wasn't there. I can't tell you. It's a very secret, but I was on special assignment with, for the main event in Memphis. Anyways, big show today since you missed last week. A lot of developments happening last week. Is Desiree in the clutches of the Devils? John Caesar getting hit with that fireball. Still don't know exactly what John Caesar is going to do. Him or Valentine not talking, especially after last Saturday night in Columbia, Tennessee, when Larry Valentine had Desiree in his grasp, trying to get out of the building, and the Devils cut him off and beat him down and take Desiree.